Hey, what's up guys? This is Club Skid here again, and today I'm doing a follow-up for the Skull Candy Aviators. I'm gonna move so I don't look like really, really light. Um, and this was requested by Bedside Gaming, and he gave me a lot of really uh, great feedback. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to make the video until now, but um, here it is. So, um, basically, in terms of how it's how they're holding up. It's, they're really, really, I mean, I couldn't tell by the actual headphones anything that they were, they were aged at all. You know, maybe a few smudges, but if you were to polish them up a little bit, I mean, even, even with just, you know, like, rubbing them on your pant leg or something, they look pretty brand new. Uh, the only noticeable, um, wear that I've seen is on the end of the cable here, uh, and that is, you can see... It kind of, it's it was slit there. Don't really know how that happened. I don't know if that was just something where uh, I was being careless and I got kind of like something that was in my pocket. Because um, it doesn't seem like that would happen on its own. It would take like a lot of friction. So it was likely something I had in my pocket or something like that. Um, but yeah. And the control talk still works really well. I'll just let you, hopefully... I'm not sure if this... Oh, duh. It's plugging my computer. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a pretty dumb mistake. But, um... Yeah. Uh, I'll just kind of show you again. In case you didn't get this the first time. So we have music playing here. And I'll press the button once. It pauses the music. If I, press, if I were to press it twice, it would go up a song. If three times, it would go back to this song. Um... And that's pretty much that. It's really simple. It's still working really well. And I, I personally prefer this design to the one on the Beats because it's really like slim and not distracting. Um, uh, a little bit of more on like comparing to the Beats. I still really love these. I I think they're such a so much of a better value. Um, I mean, for the for the solos, those are just like terrible. Uh, they're 180 bucks. There's way too much bass. They're you know cheaply made, just like the Solo HDs, um, but a little worse even. And uh, you only get one cable, and you know so it's pretty much pe most of the people buying Solo Solos. You know they just didn't have enough to get the Solo HDs, and even at that, they're just really. It sounds kind of broad to say this, but none of the Beats headphones are very good. There, there's not really a whole lot to be, you know, admired there. They don't really have anything that other other headphones don't, and the amount of um, the amount of like, what's the word? Propaganda that they're putting into them, you know, saying that they're the best headphones, uh, and even on the box, uh, what something that really made me mad was. Um, they said normal headphones couldn't deliver this kind of sound. Uh, first of all, that implies that they're some sort of, like, you know, way futuristic, you know, super crazy headphones, um, you know, acting like they're so much better. First of all, which is stupid. Second of all, these are way better, and they're less money. Um, yeah, the studios have too much bass, and... They, they'll break easily as well if, you know, or not even exactly break, but just get a lot of wear and tear. Um, stuff like the monster cables, the, the monster logo falls off. I've seen that on a couple cables. Um, just, just really stupid stuff that shouldn't happen. Um, I mean, like I said, this is, this is pretty minor, plus they have a really good warranty. Um, you know, so if anything else were to happen, if they started to get really staticky or something because of this, I could probably um, just file a little report, mail them back, and get a new pair, and that would be the end of that. So, that being said, um, yeah, I, I will say, I guess, in regards to build quality, I think something that's really nice is instead of having a little stupid sticker that says monster or something, uh, it has the, this, the Skull Candy logo is actually engraved, which, yeah, there we go, you can see it, actually engraved, which is really neat, I think that's a really cool feature, um, and it kind of reminds me of the feel of, like, an iPod, how it's engraved like that, but, um, yeah, 
also, I mentioned this before, they don't really, you know, show the logo a whole lot. Um, which, by the way, I guess I might as well show this as in terms of wear and tear, um, or lack of wear and tear. Let's see, the Rock Nation logo is still very much there. It doesn't, didn't get scratched off or anything, which is good if any of you were worried about that happening. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't get too good of an angle. But yeah, you can see there. Okay. Both sides. Yeah. Um, yeah, in comparison to other headphones, I, I'm going to say this personally. This is my experience. I'm not uh, claiming that you know everyone will agree with this, but this is my experience. I haven't heard a better pair of headphones for this much money. Um, I think the Bose OE2s come in pretty close. Um, but, you know, they're, I still like these more. Those are on-ears, which are less comfortable. They do have, they also do have the AE2s, which are around your ear, more like this. And those are nice as well, but they don't fold up as nice, and, um, you know, I, they don't have the, the same bass, which, you know, this isn't overpowering, but those just... The bass is really not too great on bows. It's, it's more about the highs and mids. And the, the highs and mids are just wonderful. Um, but these don't fall too, fall behind, too far behind. And the bass is just uh, you know that much better for when you're listening to songs that do have bass. Um, that being said, I would recommend these um, pretty much uh, the best headphones that I've seen for the price. Um, I'm open to, you know, if someone has another pair of headphones that they'd like me to test out and see how these compare to them, then uh, I'm open to to that, but I would say if you're looking at a good pair of headphones, for your, or your first really well-built pair of headphones um, for, you know, computer use, home use, just listening to music, these are a great pair, and yeah, so that's my um, kind of last words on these. I hope that was useful to you, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.